know. I know it was hard on you when I was going through all those medical things, but you know, I appreciate that you were so helpful and got me out of my shell a little. I tried. I, I know that it was difficult, but it's it's just a matter of getting out there and taking that first step, and that's and that's always hard. Yeah, it, was, it always has been. It was difficult too because you know I was depressed and everything, and I'm a people person like you are, and yeah. it was hard on you, but. It was a little spontaneous, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, I was here to work on some financial aid stuff. We had had conversations, you know, around, around, around the kitchen table of, does she want to go back? Does she think that, that she could go back? And there's always that little bit of pushback, that little bit of reluctance of, no, buddy, I can't do that. No, there's, I'm too old for that. But I knew better. I, I had been here a semester at that point. I had seen people in my classes who or that same non-traditional student. I see people here who are much older, who ended up making strides and making good progress coming back. So it, I realized that if it was that easy for me to sign up, just going into the Start Center and punching a couple buttons into, into the computer and putting in an application, that the easiest way for me to get hard to was just to do it. So last semester, there was a bit of something with financial aid that had to have her signature. So instead of having her sign it at home, I just asked her to come and help me take care of it at the school. Um, when we pulled in at the parking lot and he told me he needed me to fill out financial aid forms, I never had any idea, not even an inkling, that he was wanting me to sign up for school that day. Um, I t the funniest part, I think, is when we pulled in the parking lot and he said, Mom, don't be mad. And he'd never been a problem child before, so I had no idea, you know, what he was about to say. And I said, buddy, what did you do? <laughs> he said, we're not here to sign my financial aid papers. We're here for you. <laughs> and, I kept telling you I can't do this, Jordan. Yeah. I can't do this. It's not okay. And why not? And there wasn't a reason why not. Like, it was just a matter of walking in there and taking that jump. I didn't even go anywhere though, a grocery store maybe, but I was so scared I would get out and break something because my osteoporosis, I was afraid to go anywhere. So the thought of having to go somewhere regularly every, mm -hmm. so many days really but terrified you're, me. But you're, but you're such a people person. I know that it was eating away you, not being able to get out and you thrive around people and you thrive in this environment. And I, I, I know that as difficult as it was, it, it was what was best for you. Buddy, I don't even know if you realize how and how much it means to me that you brought me back to school. And I'm so proud of you and what you've done. And I thank you so much. I don't ever forget it. I owe you big time. You don't owe me for a thing. Yes, I did. You raised me, you brought me up, you gave me a good home and a good life. And really, it's, it's, what, it's what family does for one another. Obstacles can get in the way, health can get in the way, bills can get in the way, life can get in the way, but you know, sometimes you need just that little nudge from someone who loves you to support you and tell you, yes, you can do this, you can do this. Life, is, life has a way of, of knocking you down. Life has a way of making you stumble and it's difficult to, to push through that, but I'm really proud of it. I don't know what I would do without my boys. And especially now, like I never ever thought I would graduate and I can't believe I'm about to. I'm so excited. I'm so thankful for him and for the rest of my family for supporting me and Trio. I can't thank Trio enough. I don't know if I could have done it without them. Teresa.